Hi, there's two really interesting trends going on in music production. One of them is all about portability, taking a subset of your studio, putting it in a backpack and hitting the road to make your music in some new location. The other really interesting thing is the onset of iPads and iPhone use and using that for making music. That's iOS music production. They're both interesting trends and they relate to one another. This is my backpack. And this is what I take with me when I go on the road. And I'm gonna walk you through what's included in here and sort of lay out the options. The first thing you're gonna to have to decide is what computing device do you want. I have an iPad and I have my music production software organized into groups on that iPad. The next thing is, how are you gonna connect that iPad? need one of these. Clips onto the side. Now you've got USB ports, mic ports, everything else that you might need. What else do I have in this little container? One of these. That's a crucial one terabyte SSD. The next thing you might want is a MIDI controller keyboard. I bought this CME X-Key 37. It has a USB connector on the side. And you can plug that You might want to bring a launch pad with you. It's a great way to do mobile music production. The only issue is you can really only have one device plugged in at a time. I have another little bag here of goodies. That includes this Rode NT Mini USB microphone. It's also USB-C, and you'd have to decide whether you want to plug in the mic or one of the controllers all at the same time. Also in this little package, I have this. I use this both as a tripod and to hold a camera. You might think this is a fairly simple setup. It's got keys. That works with a lot of the software you can run on iOS. Now, if you're so inclined, you might get rid of the keyboard. Obviously, it works with Novation Launchpad. And it'll work with Beatmaker 3 and some other software as well. Sometimes you need a selfie stick. So I have a fairly inexpensive selfie stick with a Bluetooth connector on it. So this is one configuration that can work. You might want to evaluate, does it make sense just to bring your MacBook? You can plug in a lot more devices. So here's one scenario where there's really no sacrifice. You can still run Logic. You've got a microphone, you can get rid of the launch pad and bring back the keyboard. In this setup, another option is to use both. With this handy little stand, you could be running Logic Remote 
then you've got the use of a mixer. One last thing to mention is that I do a lot of video in my mobile rig. So I have this ring light that I take with me. It's pretty basic, but it works well. It comes with its own tripod and a stand to hold your phone. And since it's portable, I take this anchor battery with me. So I've got power on the go. Plug in the battery and I have to turn it on. You get the idea. Works both as a light and as a tripod. Sometimes when you're mobile, it's all the little things that make a big difference. For me, getting that Rode NT Mini USB mic was a bit of a game changer because I had no way of recording acoustic things with a good quality mic. For 100 bucks, that Rode is really quite amazing. The DJI Osmos 3 serves multiple purposes. Obviously for video production, you can use it as a gimbal as it was designed, it's motorized, and it holds your iPhone. But for me, I also use it as a tripod. It's very convenient, serves two purposes. I generally put all of my data on the cloud, but sometimes you're in a location where you don't have internet access, and that's where that crucial one terabyte SSD really comes in handy. I store a lot of my samples, music files, things that I use over and over again on there, and one terabyte seems to be more than enough. It's extremely fast, and you can connect that to your laptop, your iPad, or your iPhone. These two remotes come in extremely handy. They're both Bluetooth. This one is for the newer ring light, and this one is for my Sony camera. They're just handy for recording and turning things off and on. Of course, you couldn't live without a device like this so that you can expand the ports that you're using on your iPad or your iPhone, but this is for an iPad. It's got an SD card reader, micro SD reader, charging port for USB-C, headphone jack, and a USB port. If you really want to expand the USB ports, I do have a, a doubler where I can add more than one USB device at the same time. And of course, having a variety of cables and adapters that are going to be useful to you is something that evolves over time. 